this is uh, you know, this is what I got to go through to work on a sled, you know, because I procrastinated, and now I got to drive through this for 45 minutes. YouTubers, welcome back. My name's Dave, like always, and you found Do It Yourself, Do It Right. And you know, as you can see behind me, I've fallen behind the power curve. It snowed, you know, there's, I don't know, four, three, five inches, I'm not sure. And uh, sled, it's not ready. As you, uh, you know, in the last video, link to that one up here. It's got major problems, and I've got to fix them. It's uh, it's leaking uh, antifreeze somewhere, and uh, yeah, I got a, I got a top end rebuild kit. Got the uh, GMC cleaned off. Gonna hook her up, drag her up to work, and uh, gonna get started on that uh, that rebuild. It is Christmas Eve, so you know, Merry Christmas to everybody. You know, it's uh, it's gonna be a white Christmas here in New York, and uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it up and get inside, cause uh, and in, in the car, because it's it's cold and my feet are cold already, cause I don't have boots, cause I just moved up here from Georgia and I'm not prepared for a New York winter, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going. And uh, I'll see you when we're in a nice, warm hangar with helicopters that aren't flying today. All right, guys. So, uh, you know, I made it and got the sled off the trailer and cleaned it up a little bit because, you know, slushy, nasty roads. Uh, going to open up the hangar door, going to push her inside, and uh, we're going to get started on that top end soon as I warm up and my ears aren't frozen and I get all the tools and, you know the reason why I brought it up here is because you know there's light in the hangar and all my tools to include torque wrenches you know I'm gonna need some torque wrenches you know if uh, if you're uh, attempting one of these top end rebuilds you're gonna need some tools this is not a level one you know this is not a newbie mechanic kind of job this is this is pretty in-depth you're gonna be looking at pistons and rings and you know all that good stuff that engine is going to be basically torn down uh, i probably should remove it from the sled and work on it on a bench but you know i do things the hard way so you know this channel like i said in previous videos this channel should be you know do it yourself do it the hard way i'm inside i've got the engine torn down and uh you know it's it's as bad if not worse than I thought. Uh, I am not totally convinced, by the way, uh, that the base seals were the culprit for the leak. <sighs> but I'm there, so I might as well, you know, got to replace them now. And uh, I'll bring you in here. As you can see, the motor, it's, uh, you know, 100% pulled apart. Got the cylinders off, got the head off, and I'll show you those parts. You can see the pistons. These pistons look new, and there are some indications that somebody has already done some work on this. And one of those indications is this power valve seal right here. This thing looks brand new. Anyway, as you can see, this is the cylinder. Here's the head. So, to get the head off, you just got to take all these bolts off. Uh, of course, you got to take the water, the water pump hose off this guy here on the other end and, you know and then there's four bolts these guys here these cylinder uh, um, I don't know what the hell you call them shafts bolts blah 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 I can't think of it right now I'm, I'm a little frustrated but 
yeah these are uh, you know what we'll hold the cylinder on and then this gasket here is what I thought uh, failed and you know a lot of you guys on the YouTubes you know said that that's a that's a common faulty point on these Polaris so I figured you know I got the whole kit which I have it right here Got this guy you know it's a it's a whole top end rebuild with with all the fixings all the o-rings all the gaskets and uh, i'll probably be using 75 percent of them you know some of the things i'm not taking apart but to be honest with you i really don't have high hopes uh for this snowmobile to run right or last very long you know the, 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 as you can see you know there's antifreeze on the ground this whole the you know the whole bottom end was full and to be honest with you i am not taking the whole engine out i'm not going to split the case i drained it i'm going to clean it up as best i can and then i'm going to send it so if it if the if the crank bearings last they last if they don't if they blow up though then they just blow up and I'd have to get another engine or something but i'm not going that deep into this i'm just trying to get this to the point to where i can go across the field when it's snowing so if it stays together for a season or two well then i i i won but if not then i lost and sometimes you know sometimes you just lose so that's where we're at that's what i'm doing i'm going to uh i'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse i'm pretty sure you, you don't want to hear me talk about cleaning the cylinders and all these parts and you know I'll, I'll let you see how i'm doing and how clean i get it and you know get the get that seal off in there get the uh get that gasket off get it ready put the new ones on and uh you know it's just basically going to be uh i'll sh you know i'll bring you back when i'm doing the major things you know putting the cylinders back on you got to be careful of those rings those rings are pretty pretty fragile you gotta you know gotta compress them and then slip the cylinder down so yeah it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a little bit touchy but uh you know this is uh this is this is it this is uh you know doing a top end on an xe 600 i know nothing about and uh we're just gonna get it done so i'm gonna get going right now made a little bit of a mess got the vacuum out cleaned up all the uh, you know, where all the gasket was S tried to suck out all the uh, antifreeze that was in there oh sounds like somebody's outside plowing so yeah got all that cleaned up now I'm gonna move on to all of this stuff the head, cylinder, the exhaust, the other cylinder is over there, over here somewhere. So, uh, yeah. I'll uh, bring you back when I'm putting everything back together. So I'm starting the uh, going back together process. And what that entails is basically just, you know, new, uh, new gasket here, 
uh, new exhaust gasket and new o-rings okay i haven't pulled these old ones out same over here these are uh you know your your head gasket o-rings uh power valve gasket and then of course the uh the base gasket i uh i do have some uh uh, rubber gasket maker that I'm gonna put a nice little bead around uh, that base gasket just because you know I, I want it to seal this time and I, I will say that I did actually find the culprit as I was cleaning everything up and it was the base gasket and I'll show you exactly where it was so there's a little piece of gasket that comes along here now this whole piece of the gasket was intact when I popped it off and this piece through here was actually disbonded from here. It just peeled right off. So, you know, which leads me to believe that's, you know, I don't think it peeled off when I popped the ceiling, uh, the cylinder out. I think that it was probably already loose. Maybe it didn't get a good, uh, a good seal. Maybe it didn't adhere. I don't know, but I'm pretty certain that was the, the, the culprit for the, you know the antifreeze because this is the antifreeze port this is where all the antifreeze comes down through the liquid cooled cylinder uh, this is the antifreeze so i'm uh, i'm pretty certain that that was uh that was the problem so uh i'm going to uh, start the whole going back together process i've already opened up my you know my kit here it's a a vertex kit i got it from the local polaris dealership uh, unfortunately, uh, some of you guys uh, said to get the metal gaskets, the metal base gaskets, so we won't have this problem again. But unfortunately, I, you know, you guys recommended that a little too late before I had already ordered this gasket kit. kit. So if it uh, if it blows again, well, at least I uh, at least I know what I'm doing. At least I know how to take it all apart and put it all back together. There is going to be a couple of tricks when uh, sliding these cylinders back down. I'm going to get them just started on these cylinders or on these pistons just enough to where you know everything's compressed and they'll slide right in and they're lined up with the studs so then i can go ahead and throw the uh this exhaust y onto this other cylinder and that's that's what locks the two cylinders together along with the head if you notice it's one piece head it locks both of the cylinders together, but as right now, as you can see, they're separate, makes it easier to uh, to take apart. So there are going to be a couple little, uh, you know, little little things that uh, uh, little tips, little tricks, and that's going to be one of them. I'm going to get both of the cylinders just started. I'm going to get that uh, that Y pipe together on both cylinders with a new gasket, and then. You know I'll completely slide both of the cylinders down together and you know hopefully they see and hopefully we won't have this problem again all right just a quick note this is the uh, the sealant uh, says mega black OEM silicone gasket maker uh, it recommends you know it's a high temperature you know safe for use on all engines resist oil water antifreeze antifreeze mixtures so I think this uh, I think this should do the trick I'm just gonna put it like I said just a little bead around uh, around those ports those um, antifreeze ports and hopefully that'll give it just a little bit extra sealing so I don't have this problem again so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna put you guys up on a time-lapse and you can see me put all this stuff uh, back together
So I'm feeling a little defeated. Um, as you may have saw, uh, I'm struggling to get the cylinders back on the pistons in line with the rings and the studs and everything like that. So I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, I uh, went on the old interwebs and uh, purchased a, uh, a a ring compression tool. Now I was hoping to get away uh, get away with not having to buy one, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to buy one. And it's one of those tools that I'll probably use in the future, working on a motorcycle, or maybe working on this thing again. But uh, you know, as you can see, I grabbed up a zip tie. I tried to use a zip tie, but uh, it's uh, you know, it's just not having it. So instead of breaking the rings or messing up the cylinder or you know, causing more damage than what's already here. I figured I'll just, uh, you know, take a break, take a breather, uh, go home, you know, enjoy, you know, Christmas Eve with, uh, with my family. Uh, you know, I'm going to do some FaceTiming with my family that's still in Georgia. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, you'll, uh, you'll be back when I get the tool and, uh, we'll continue on with this project. This thing is not done. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really disliking it actually, but it's becoming a challenge. So when that happens, you can rest assured that I'm, uh, I'm gonna get it done and it's gonna run. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue, or I should say to be continued. All right guys, so you know, fast forward probably two months Maybe a month. I don't know. No, it's been more than a month. I know that for sure. Uh, back on this guy here, you know, the the piece. I'm going to call it the piece from now on because uh, it's something. Uh, bought a house. If you haven't caught those video or that video above my head, got a garage. That's where I'm at now in the garage. Uh, sled there, obviously. It's snowing. So... You know, I figured, why not you know, work on a snowmobile when it's snowing? I should be riding it, but it's a piece. Uh, got some guys here working on the house, on the floors, uh, to be exact. Uh, so, you know, lots of stuff going on. Sorry the videos are getting a little scarce, but uh, going to try to put this motor back together. You know, got a heater over there, there. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it, you know, like two degrees warmer in this garage. Probably not gonna work. But, uh, you know, I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of talking. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, I got my tools from work. And, uh, you know, this one, especially that one, you know, I've talked about it in all my previous videos pretty much. Uh, you know, the gear wrench set. But, uh, you know, parts, you know, the carburetors, the muffler. The cylinders, and I probably lost about 20 screws, bolts. You know, you know. I'll show you cleaning them up. I clean them up at work. Uh, don't mind the motorcycle tires; those are to come. You know, on the that bike there, the XL 175. Uh, so, yeah, got all that going on. Gonna shut up and uh, get to get to working. All right, guys. So. As you can hear, got the heater going. Uh, you won't really hear it, and if you do when I'm talking, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't want to freeze, as you can see. Pretty chilly in here. Uh, hopefully, it'll get it a little bit warmer. Uh, I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse, get everything going, get the, you know, hopefully, I can get this thing back together. Uh, so, here we go.
engine rebuild saga continues. And, uh, you know, I broke a ring trying to get it off to clean it so I could put it back together. And now it's broke. And would you believe it or not, none of the Polaris dealerships around here carry parts for this old piece. So, uh, yeah, now we're just on the old pocket computer, ordered up two sets of rings just in case, you know, just in case. Uh, so, a little bit of progress this time. Uh, you know, got this cylinder on. It's just slid in there because I got to get the other cylinder on to slide in. You know, slide down in there. Uh, gonna move on. Uh, gonna throw the carbs back in. You know, I figured I'm out here. Uh, might as well put the carburetors back on. Probably fight with, you know, fuel tubing. Old fuel tubing, because I didn't buy any new fuel tubing. You know, because I'm cheap. But, uh, you know, side note, that little guy right there, it, uh, it warms it up nicely in here. So this is a, this is a, you know, pleasant surprise. I figured it'd get a little cold. Can't see my breath. So that's a plus. Uh, so gonna go ahead and grab the carbs and slip them back in there. Cause they're ready to go on. You know, they've been ready to go on for like the last month and a half. And uh, you know, I just been procrastinating. So let's do it. All right, folks, uh, I'm as far as I can go today, unfortunately. And you know, I really, I was really hoping to get it back together and get it running, but you know, things, things happen, shit happens, you know. You know, just the, there's the broken ring. It's the you know, two pieces. You know, trying to pop that out, those things are brittle and apparently I was a little rough. You know, sometimes I get rough, so. Uh, show you the carburetor. You know, if I had this to do all over again, I've had it apart for so long, I, you know, I forgot the, the sequence of putting stuff back together. If I were to, you know, do it all over again, I would definitely put the throttle cables on and the choke, throttle, choke, throttle, choke, uh, before I put, it, you know, the carbs back in and tighten them down you know you got to have some nimble fingers you know now just you know just ask my girlfriend hey, got some nimble fingers so uh, yeah I gotta you know these little these little nuts on the underside there you know they're a little hard to get to so you gotta you know you gotta have some dexterity in the old fingers so uh, you know that's all back together Connectors plugged in, choke works, throttle works. Uh, you know, now, now I'm just waiting on some rings. You know, hopefully, well, today's, today's the weekend, so uh, hopefully in the middle of the next week I'll get some rings in and I can finish this thing up. I can button this project up, hopefully. Uh, but until then, you know, we're. Uh, you know, it's gonna sit in the garage. I actually bought a cover for it. It's over there. Somewhere in that pile of parts. So, you know, to be continued. All right, guys, so, you know, after rooting around on the old interwebs, you know, for about 20 minutes, I realized that, you know, it's gonna take a little bit to get a set of rings in for the piece. So uh, I think I'm gonna call this video here. You know, it's been, you know, basically two months in the making. So, uh, you know, I figured I'd call it here. Uh, next video on it will obviously be, you know, rings, the other cylinder, uh, maybe, hopefully, getting it running so I can, you know, try to ride it uh, before the snow is gone. Uh, so, you know, like you guys do at all the end of, at the end of all my other videos, you know, like, tag, share, follow, subscribe, 
you know, why not? It's free, don't cost you anything. Uh, so subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. If you like snowmobiles, you know, tell them, tell your buddies, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, if you like motorcycles, you know, more stuff coming on motorcycles. Uh, so, you know, like, like I always say, like, tag, share, follow, subscribe, and uh, till next time, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.